How's it going guys? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is on this uh, older Craftsman uh, with a Briggs six and a quarter horsepower engine. And I just picked it up from my scrap guy and uh, don't know anything about it. I see that there's definitely some oil all over the deck. So we're going to take a look at why uh, your lawnmower might be leaking oil onto the deck. And then we're going to see if we can't get this one back in service. All right, guys, so uh, there's only a few places uh, on a lawnmower where oil can be leaking uh, out from the engine. Um, one of the obvious places would be where you put the oil in and where that dipstick meets the block of the engine. So there typically does get a little bit of oil residue in this area, and then it picks up dirt and debris and then make, makes like a, like a, a, a yucky cake of, you know, oily residue so there is a seal underneath there that actually can be replaced this one uh, is pretty normal for a 20 some odd year old uh, engine so I wouldn't suspect that the oil is coming from this area and if it was it certainly doesn't have a pool or a trail that leads down to that pool so uh, that would be one area that it could be leaking from. A second area is that there is an actual sump on the bottom of these engines. Uh, let me see if I can get a better look at this somewhere. It would be right in this area. There's a little bit of a, a gasket in between the bottom sump and the top engine part. And... Sometimes those gaskets go bad uh, in a specific area. So again, if you see an oil drip coming from this sort of top and bottom half, then you can assume that that's probably uh, a sump gasket. And uh, for the basic homeowner, that's probably not something you're gonna wanna tackle. Uh, two more options. Uh, again, probably not homeowner um, friendly options is that on the top of the engine where the crankshaft comes out and connects to the flywheel and on the bottom of the engine where the crankshaft comes out and connects to the blade, uh, on the top and bottom of the, uh, the crankshaft, there's a seal, all right? So if you take off the top shroud of your engine and you kind of get it down to where the flywheel is and there's like oily residue all up and underneath where the flywheel is, guarantee your upper crankshaft seal is uh, is bad. On the bottom side, if I flip this up, right there is your bottom crankshaft seal where that shaft comes out of the uh, bottom case. I've seen those go bad uh, quite often and uh, again you would get a, a messy oily residue in and around where that crankshaft is so that doesn't seem to be the problem on this particular mower what i suspect is the mo problem and it's the most common problem and the easiest one to fix and prevent is is that a lot of people overfill the oil on their mowers okay guys these things take about five or 600 milliliters, 12 to 16 ounces of oil. If you overfill these, then unfortunately the oil has to go somewhere. It ends up seeping out from different places. And what, wouldn't you know it? This one is definitely overfilled. You can see where that full line is. This thing has got oil halfway up this dipstick so that is definitely going to create issues you're going to get oil kind of coming out from probably uh, potentially the muffler side you're going to get oil coming out from the crankcase breather tube which goes into the air filter housing um, 
so I'm curious to know if there's any coming out from here. So what I'm going to do next is take off this air filter cover and check behind there. See if there's any oily residue. It doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you might not necessarily find it underneath here. Uh, but this is definitely overfilled and I can guarantee you that's probably where this is coming from. Uh, before I get into that, one last place where I've seen oil drip out from is um, the head the head gasket. Okay, So if it's dripping from up and underneath the, the head of the motor, um, that could also create some oily, oily residue on your deck. So let me get this air filter cover off and then we're going to see uh, what's going on and uh, continue on from there. All right, so as suspected, guys, uh, take a look at this oily residue filter. All right, that's going to clog off all the airflow going into the engine. So there's no way this thing is going to run, right? And this thing's even dripping oil off of the uh, air filter housing. So I know you guys are thinking maybe it's a good thing to keep the oil topped up, but make sure it's just not overfilled, all right, guys? Take that old oil out, put fresh oil in. Don't just dump some new oil in over top of the oil and think you're doing a good job, all right? So I'm gonna take some of the oil out of this thing and uh, get it back to a normal level. Then we're gonna see if this thing's gonna run because uh, it had some fresh grass on it when my scrap guy brought it over to me. Yeah, so obviously it had just died. All right, so I put the oil level back to a normal level there, kind of cleaned up the air filter area a little bit. I'm going to leave the air filter off here when I go ahead and try and test this thing. Uh, I, the primer bulb does work, so let's try and see if this thing will fire up for us. All right, guys, so something as easy as uh, throw, throwing too much oil into your lawnmower could cause you to want to throw it out by the curb, give it away uh, when it's a perfectly good running lawnmower. So that's all this thing needs. Obviously, I'm going to let this uh, clean this thing up. And uh, looks like a brand new spark plug. Looks like they tried that and it didn't work. Um, but it runs perfectly fine. So I'm going to do my normal thing to this thing, get it all cleaned up and uh, serviced, and then try and get this thing sold. And uh, this one was an easy fix, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if uh, you liked the content, please go ahead and show me a little love. Smash the like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. It really helps me out on the channel. So till our next project, take care.